Welcome back. Would you think that ice cream goes well with craft beer? Uh -uh. There are some pairings <laughs> that make sense. Yeah, and all your senses are going to get a lesson during a week-long event in Two Rivers, where every day is Sunday, mm. and Chad is celebrating with both. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, it sounds like an eye combination, but believe it or not, there are some good ice creams that go with some of these beers. We'll have more on that in just a moment. First of all, talking about the event coming up, the first annual... The Every Day is Sunday event starting on Friday. Roger's here to uh, give us a little preview about the event. A big weekend coming up here in Two Rivers. It is. It's an exciting weekend. As uh, was discussed earlier, of course, Two Rivers is the uh, birthplace of the ice cream Sunday, And we were just looking for ways to celebrate that. So we've got this event that starts on Friday, as you mentioned, with the beer and ice cream pairings. Um, on Saturday, we'll have... Uh, uh, Mischief and Magic from Green Bay coming down to build us a six foot tall balloon ice cream sundae. Um, we're going to have uh, 16 different ice creams for people to sample, a uh, variety of kids activities and things like that, food trucks on both Friday and Saturday. Um, yeah, a whole host of events for the weekend and then of course on Sunday it'll continue here at the Washington House. Um, they have events going on, live music and uh, and actually on, on over the whole weekend we'll be doing meet and greets with, meet and greets with uh, um, Edgar Burner who is the great nephew of the gentleman that invented the ice cream sundae. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Yeah. yeah. So it's the first annual. This is only going to grow, we hope. I'm sure it will yes. uh, over the next several years. But, yeah, lots of stuff happening this weekend, one of which, like we mentioned, pairing beer with ice cream. Jeff is now here to talk about how something crazy like this actually goes well together, some of the different craft beers that we have and the ice creams that go really well with them. Sure. So as far as anybody who's familiar with growing up with a root beer float, a lot of the craft brewers in the area and across the country have decided to say, well, why don't we just grow that up a bit mm -hmm. and talk about beer floats? Um, so on Friday night, we're going to have eight different craft brewers ranging from Green Bay with Copper State uh, down to Sheboygan with three sheeps, uh, which are two of the beers that are sampled here. Mm -hmm. Um, who've actually been asked to pick a flavor, which ice cream flavor, which goes well with their beers. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're generally pairing beer and ice cream, which is a perfect activity for a, a barbecue on Father's Day, um, what you want to do is you want to pick an ice cream that really emphasizes the, the top note of whatever beer you're serving. Mm -hmm. uh, so for example, in the case of the lighter beer here, this is an amber beer, so it's a little bit maltier. And we paired that with a caramel ice cream because it emphasizes kind of that smoothness and that warm tone. And then in the second case, this is a Belgian quad which has fruit notes in it. So we paired that with a dark chocolate because who doesn't love chocolate and fruit? Absolutely. So guys, like I mentioned, it sounds kind of crazy, but two examples of how ice cream can go great with this craft beer. And again, with Father's Day not too far away, maybe some craft beer and ice cream is the present that he'll want. Uh, we'll have more on this on our website. And again, come down to Two Rivers this weekend and uh, check out some of this very delicious ice cream and beer, guys. Morning for you. I'm going to make a float, I yeah. think. That looks delicious. Thanks, Thanks. Chad.